bodycamp.net. As you probably know, folks, it was a big week for privacy, not to be confused with a big week for privates, which should be a personal decision between you, your partner, your doctor, Anthony Weiner in a banana hammock. But no, I'm talking about a big week for privacy. Two kinds of privacy were given away this week. One was personal online privacy, as Google instituted its new rules in which they record everything you ever do, email, or say, and then use that to sell you halogen lamps, nipple clamps, hats, caps, bandanas, and banana hammocks. Hooray! I was worried that I personally would have to decide I wanted something and then go and purchase it. But no, a Google algorithm will decide that for me. Thank God goal. Did I mention God has been bought out by Google and they changed their name to God goal? Now some of you may be saying, but Lee, we've been giving away our privacy bit by bit for years now and it's been a slow trickle of humiliating advancements and exposing ourselves and apparently we as a country don't care enough to give a fuck. And my response to that is, fair point. The other privacy-changing moment was when WikiLeaks began leaking 5 million emails from global intelligence company Stratford. Everyone is still piecing together what's in the emails, but so far, we've learned that Goldman Sachs was setting up an insider trading scheme, Israel and Russia sell military weaponry to one country and then give the operating codes to the weaponry to the other countries, some of the Pakistani military had standing poker games with Osama bin Laden while he was in hiding. And the U.S. government has a secret indictment against the creator of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange. And also, if you put a paperweight on a coaster, it could cause a paradox that destroys the entire space-time continuum. So don't fucking try it at home. So these are two types of privacy. One being the privacy of private citizens, and the other being the privacy of governments and corporations. Violating one of these privacies, we're told, is very bad and could get you convicted of espionage or false rape charges. And the other type of violation, we're told, is exciting and supposed to help us find the products we want on the inner tubes. We're told by Facebook, Google, and other sites that them knowing small details about us, like our buying habits and our penis size, better helps them help us. Don't worry, just tell us why you haven't spoken to your father in three years, and we'll be able to better help you find a pair of cozy new leg warmers. On the other hand, the media wants us to believe that anything that comes out of WikiLeaks is like Darth Vader's recipe for French onion soup. Tasteless, evil, and European. We're told government and corporate transparency is no good because if your average citizen knew the level of lying, stealing, and general douchebaggery that goes on, they would be able to make informed decisions about their government and about the corporations and companies they support. And holy shit, let's pray to God Oh, that never happens. That's your moment of clarity. Leave a comment and let me know. Do you support WikiLeaks? Do you support the policies of Google and Facebook? Also, you'll notice there are no nipple clamp ads on this video. In their place, please donate what you feel this episode was worth at LeeCamp.net. No plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.